Traces of explosives have been detected, triggering an alarm. Thankfully, the terrorists are actors and the explosives fake. A multinational exercise is taking place in an underground railway station in a European capital. A mass of moving commuters has been scanned, but none of them are aware of it. This new system could have gone a long way to preventing the terrorist attacks on the transport systems of London, Madrid and Moscow. At that time, the critical infrastructure for transport, and mass transport in particular, was protected much less effectively than air transport. So at NATO, specifically in the NATO-Russia Council, we decided to develop technologies to protect this type of infrastructure. Experts and scientists from NATO countries and Russia worked together on the project, dubbed Standex, launched back in 2010. It immediately tapped into different countries' know-how and expertise. This new system pinpoints both the suspect and the position of the suspicious material on their body. This represents a major advance in detecting people carrying explosives. The alert is activated by an innovative system, which also provides analysis of all the data gathered by the different detectors. The reason for having multiple detectors in one system is because, is because uh, the second and the third one can solve the problem that the first ones have. This project is led and co-sponsored by the NATO Science for Peace and Security programme. The first phase has cost 4.8 million euros. It marks an important milestone in NATO-Russia cooperation. We have our differences on some political issues. But that doesn't mean to say that in other areas, such as terrorism, we don't discover common interests and a need to uh, cooperate. I think it was really interesting. It was a good example of international cooperation. As the terrorist threat is not just a local one for an individual country or region, it is a worldwide problem. The next step will be to transfer these technologies to industry and bring them to market. Then they can be used to boost security in mass transit locations across NATO countries and Russia, and help prevent attacks, such as those in London, Madrid and Moscow, from happening again. This is a NATO Channel report.